My name is Onur Dursun. I'm a program leader at Quantity Surveying Portfolio at LJME. Well, we all start in the induction, basically. So it's all application of the personal tutor starting from day one. And they're just going to grow this relationship. Going forward with their teaching and delivery weeks, basically, they will have their module leaders who will be available to support them. And we also have open door policy every day. But this is not only the support that we are offering for our students. So actually across the LJME, we also have support systems like student well-being, finance support, and other support mechanisms that we are offering. Basically, it all starts in the classroom like a typical delivery. So we have the lectures. Of course, it's not going to be enough to teach them theoretically. So we are supporting that with the workshop sessions, which can take place either again in a classroom setting, in a group setting, or in IT rooms. In quantity surveying, we use the information technology quite frequently, of course, like the advanced technologies like building information modeling, plugins that's dedicated to them, like Costax and other softwares for project planning and so on. And then we have a dedicated immersive lab that we established in 2024. This is, a, to our knowledge, the only facility within the entire UK that's dedicated for the use of built environment education that allows the students to simultaneously immerse themselves into the built environment scenarios in a digital space 360 without even going to the construction sites. So we have a lot of contacts uh, across the UK, but mostly about the Northwest. We are inviting them to our classrooms to deliver some guest lectures and so on. So these are the typical settings for a quantity surveying student within the period that they stayed with us. Starting from level four, the basics, more than level five in application, level six, critical thinking and synthesizing of this, what they learn in level four and level five. But also in terms of their assessments, we are trying to reflect that progression into their assessments as well. Learning hands-on case studies, case analysis, real work scenarios, and more of a kind of group work reflecting on the realities of the construction industry in 2025. Because no matter what they do, either quantity serving or something else, they're going to definitely have this group work element. Basically, our course is accredited by RICS, Royal Institute of Chartered Surveys and CIOB. So we have two important accreditation, which is covering all the technical competencies that is basic for a quantity surveyor, measurement, procurement, contract administration, risk, financial management. But then we would like to go a bit beyond that at LJMU, uh, which I believe is again unique to our curriculum. We have a lot of elements of sustainable construction and then we have a dedicated module for sustainability where the students are making some carbon assessments and so on, which is quite unique for us as well. Apart from that, we have a lot of digital elements in our curriculum and they will shape the future of this industry in the most efficient way that is possible. School of Civil Engineering and Built Environment is a very active member of Associated Schools of Construction, which basically organizes student competitions uh, across several regions that they have. And every year we are sending our students into these competitions. So these are really sponsored events from the industry. It's super fun, super challenging, and we've been doing it in the Europe in America. So every year we are just participating in these kind of uh, student challenges as well to prepare our students to the industry standards as much as we can. We have really good connections with the industry and we're proud of that. We do offer placement opportunities. So we have the year long placement with a contractor or consultant across the UK or across the globe. Generally, what we observe is that these students are done taking job offers while they're still doing their placement so that there will be flexibilities for them to study their final year with us as a part time student so that they can gain this important employability skills while they're still studying with us. Typically, there are two pathways that a quantity survey graduate can take, either working for the contractor's QS or the consultant's QS, starting from basic roles and so on. But what we see in the really good graduate profiles is that they grow into the roles quite quickly and they sit their chartered status after two years of their completion. And once they got their membership for the professional bodies, the sky's the limit. They can go easily with the senior roles, with some director roles and so on. So a lot of opportunities, whatever you'd like to. If you'd like to find more about this Bachelor of Science Honours in Quantity Surveying at LJMU, come and visit us in our open days and you can find more information also at the Liverpool John Morris University webpage.